Hi all, in this video, let's learn about JavaScript most commonly asked interview question. That is difference between for each and map in detail. So firstly, let's understand what is this for each and map. So for each and map or array methods, what they do. So whenever an array is given for each and map, iterate over each and every element of the array and it will be executing this callback functions logic for the each and every element in this array. That's what they do. So coming to the syntactical wise, both looks the same. And uh, if you execute these two commands, so it will be giving the same output. You can't find the difference. So what is what they are doing? It, they have taken one array, okay? In this callback function, it is iterating one item, it is multiplying and it is setting the same value. I mean, multiplication value in the same array index. And that is what it is printing. So in the same, here I have used map, here we have used for each. So syntactical wise, definition wise, both looks the same. Now let's understand what is the basic differences between this map and for each. The first difference is returning the values. So if you use for each, and if you're trying to return some value in this callback function, so each and for each and every element, you are iterating and multiplying element with the same element, okay? And you are returning that value. So what you'll be getting as a result in the return value? you'll be getting undefined so this is a main important point when you take an array and you if you apply that with the for each the return value would be undefined when you compare it with the map so map gives you the new array the same functionality just we are using in place of for each we are using map and we are uh, multiplying the element with the element and what is the return values so it returns the new array okay what it is it is going to return it is going to return the new array by multiplying all these numbers Okay, this is the first difference. Like while you are returning something from the for each, you'll be getting that as undefined. If you return something from the map, it is going to return as a new array. Okay, the main difference is like for each will modify the original array, whereas map will not modify the original array. It will return, retrieve, it gives a new array. It will not perform the operations on the original array. Okay, coming to the another difference, say it is a chaining of methods. So for example, you have a map method. So once you've done an operation, so you hear what you're doing, you are taking an array, you are doubling the array. Okay, it means you're uh, doing the operation element into element. Okay, fine. So you'll be getting an array here. You'll be getting a new array. Now chaining of methods means after getting the output, you're doing again reverse of the values. So that's the reason the array was got reverse order okay it means you can apply n number of chaining functions not only reverse you can apply sort filter any of the functions you can apply once after you got the result of this map this is because map is going to return you back the new array it will return the array so you can apply n number of methods once the operation of map is done but coming to the for each you can't do that because once this for each operation is done, what it is going to return? It is going to return undefined. The output of this return value of this for each is undefined. Whatever method you keep after this undefined, you'll be getting an error, something like this, because you can't apply any of the method for an undefined. So that's the reason cannot read a property of undefined for reverse. So this is what we'll be getting. So it means chaining of the methods can be applied to the map can't be applied to the for each. This is because for each returns undefined and map returns a new array. This is what happens, okay? Now coming to the performance wise. So both looks the same. So in terms of performance here, I'm using console.time, console.end time, and whatever the code you keep in between, it will calculate how much time it was taken to execute this piece of code. You can use console.time or performance.now, or you can verify the performance in jsperformance.com as well. Okay, there would be a number of ways to find out the performance. Coming to the function and uh, for each and map, both will not have a, uh, will have a similar uh, working and uh, it will not be the more difference in terms of the performance, but comparatively map will work faster. Okay, so you can see here the values also. It is taking map is taking 0 0.031 milliseconds, whereas the for each taking 0 0.038 milliseconds. Okay, comparatively, map takes a bit faster. 
when compared to the for each here what we are doing is we are doing the same operation for the for each and map we are taking the same element and multiplying with the same element and again we are multiplying that with one followed by the 10 zeros okay this is just to check how much time it takes in terms of milliseconds okay the same operation we are doing for the map as well so in terms of performance map is a bit faster fine so final conclusion if you want to work with the original array okay you want to persist uh, the original array also then you need to go with the map operation so the original array will be there and also you'll be getting a new transformed array as well if this is your use case you will be going with the map if you don't want the original array then you can go with the for each the for each will modify the original array so you can use that and you can proceed further okay and if you're not returning something from this uh, callback function then you need to go with the for each because if you are returning something from the callback function then map is a good way to implement if you're not returning anything for each would be the good way okay hope uh, we have discussed all the points related to the difference between the for each and the map hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more